Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be talking about your eval and sys eval f. These two are your macro functions. First, let's talk about the similarity between these two macro function. Both of them are used to perform your mathematical and logical operations with your macro variables. Okay, so your addition, subtraction, multiplication and all that, as you know, it cannot be done in macros directly because macro understands only one data type that is character type. That's why we need to use your percentage eval or percentage sys eval f. But there is one difference between these two. What is it? So your percentage eval cannot perform arithmetic calculation with operands that have floating point values. But percentage sys eval f can do that. So what is it? We'll understand with the basic example. So first I will try to create one macro using your percentage let. So let's say percentage let macro name be sas is equal to uh, 5 plus 5. Okay. And to see that in log you know that we should use percentage put and ampersand sas dot this. Okay. So I have written 5 plus 5. Now as you know in macros data type is character. So once I run this in log you will find as it is that is it will come as 5 plus 5 but I wanted to add it. So if you want to add that you need to use your percentage eval. How will you do it? Just write over here percentage eval and put this in parenthesis. Now if I run this what will happen? I will get 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. You can see over here the value 10. But now there is a twist. Now we were talking about floating point values. What does it mean? Let's say if it is 5.5 plus 5.5 that comes up to 11, right? But now if I run this, what will happen? You will see an error. A character operand was found in the percentage eval function or percentage if condition where a numeric operand is required. The condition was 5.5 plus 5.5. So do you see this value to be missing? There is nothing but one error coming. So what if the, so these point values are basically your floating point values. And if you want to calculate that part, you should use your sys eval f over here. Now I have written this thing. Now let's check. Now what did you get? 5.5 plus 5.5 is 11. That is what we got here. So this is the basic example to understand the difference between eval and sys eval f. I hope my video is clear to all of you. Thank you everyone for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel.